Hi guys, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How's it going? So this is going to be your uh, the tarot reading for Capricorn this week of March 8th through the 12th to the weekend. So these are just picking up the energies available to you. And if this doesn't resonate with you, make sure you check your moon sign and your rising sign as well. Okay, so let's see what the cards are for you, Capricorn. What's going on with Cappy? What is going on? Okay. Wow, this is interesting. Okay, well, this is interesting. This is the second time this card has popped up. So, Capricorn, here is the double card. Hmm. So the energies of the devil card could be could lead to wow okay so there's an abusive situation coming up so cappies so make sure that you're weak that you are cautious about any kind of abusive manipulative energies coming your way or if these energies are in you please be mindful that they might come up. They might reveal themselves in some fashion, in some form, whether in a relationship, whether at work. There's some kind of a, like a real heavy kind of energy here. And it also deals with addiction, but this is like, like an abusive abuse can sound harsh, but it could also be subtle abuse verbal abuse, emotional abuse, that kind of is an underlying tone of the week. So really be mindful, be watchful for this, be watchful for this, uh, and be on guard, you know, just and be okay to walk away from any of that. Oh, okay. And so there's, along with that, there's some disappointment. So there may have been some abuse in the past. And so you've been heartbroken, you've been discouraged, um, you're kind of feeling like, wow, so, um, wow, Capricorn, there's some heavy energy here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So let's see, but be really mindful that, uh, if there is abuse going on, it's okay to walk away. And I know that you feel sad. I, I it's okay to feel sad and even more in a relationship that, that, you know, even though it might've been abusive, you can still have affection and, and love for people even though they're abusive, you know, it's because underneath all that crap, there's still a person there, a, a glimmer of a divine reflection, right? So they're just not, they just have forgotten who they are, or maybe they have been so impacted by abuse in their own life that they turn out to be abusive in some way, whether it's passive aggressive or straight up outright abusive or manipulative just nasty so it's okay to walk away it's okay to it just didn't work out just walk away it's really okay and I just encourage you to remember though there's always something else possible even though that you're sad right now if that's or a potential for sadness there's always room for more there's 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 hope so look at this card the three cups behind him and he's just really He's just depressed almost, but look, there's two cups behind him that are full, and all he has to do is walk over the bridge, cross the water to a new home maybe, or there's just new possibilities. There's, there's beautiful things that await him and await you. So let's see what else is going on. Let's see what else. Okay, so the page of fire. So there is a new beginning. There's a message of... Um, there's a message of creativity coming. There's an invitation maybe to, to participate in a creative venture. It's a message. It's an opportunity. Or it could be a young person. But it could be, uh, it just feels like there's an opportunity for you. In, in the midst of feeling sad and feeling like I'm over it, this is not okay, you know whether it's a relationship, like I said, or any other kind of heavy, abusive, addictive energies, to walk away from that. It's okay to walk away because there's something new coming. You're being invited by this page of wands, page of fire, to use your creativity, to use 
that spark, to reignite that spark of passion in you? What, what brings you passion? Just even take some time out in the midst of being sorrowful. Take some time out and reconnect with you. Reconnect with the waters around you. Reconnect with nature. What brings you passion? And maybe seek out some friends. It's okay to, you don't want to hibernate, especially if you're really, really um, feeling sad. You want to just reach out to people who you can just be. You don't have to jump through hoops. You don't have to perform or be the entertainer. You can just be with them. Just hang out for just a second. You don't have to even talk. You, I hope that you have some friends that you can just relax with and be you. And then through that friendship, maybe, you guys can just allow you to tap back into your passion. And maybe you'll meet new people. And that can further grow your community, your passion, and your igniting new energies of self-love and self-creativity. And just express yourself through art, through dance, through movement of some sort, or a, a new sport. I mean, there's, it just feels like there's something new coming to you to snap you out of this, this funk. Because this feels really funky. This feels like you've been stuck in something. and You've been mourning something for a while. It just feels like it's time to let that go seriously. But don't take any of the baggage with you. Let it all go. Because it's not, life is not over, okay? There's new beginnings coming. So, yeah, so just take take a, a nice deep breath and uh, just know that you are loved. Even though that situation didn't allow you to feel loved, maybe, maybe it was just, ugh, it was just hard. You are loved and you're lovely and you're beautiful and you are a divine reflection of creator. So just know that and... Don't give up. Seek out what brings you passion and joy. Things are coming to you. All right. Well, be blessed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.